and welcome b -b 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 back to the Robert Cheek Show. I'm your host, Robert Cheek, where your personal best happens every day. We're here at the Animal Rights Conference 2009. We're going to take action and make it happen and bring out the best in you. I'm here with Yvonne Smith, the traveling vegetarian. You can probably see her in the background. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see her. I'm going to talk to her about who she is, what she does, and why she's here, why I saw her last year, why she's at Vegetarian Summer Fest, and why she does her thing, what it means to her. And uh, I'm going to turn right back around and turn it over to her now. So let's cruise right around here. Yvonne, what's up? What's up, Robert? How you doing? I'm fantastic, thank you. F fantastic. So it's yeah. been a, a busy weekend. It has. And uh, you got a lot of sleep last night. Or not, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, that's kind of the nature of these things. It's a, it's a social opportunity to meet with a lot of people. Absolutely. And uh, that's kind of one of the points of this event. Animal Rights Conference is to network with a lot of people. So speaking of that, tell me what you do and, um, and why you do what you do. I have a show called The Traveling Vegetarian. I go around to restaurants around the country and around the world and I show people where they can eat great vegan food. Now, I'm going to ask you this on the spot. Okay. Who are your, who are your favorites or what are your favorite places? Um, favorite cities, favorite restaurants, um, if, if you're able to say so without, without bothering no, or, or offending. I mean, that's probably are... what you do. I mean, you give like, sure, sure. you know, you, no, you've got to give your opinions. Actually, my, one of my very favorite restaurants in the world is Laughing Seed in Asheville, North Carolina. The chef there is Jason Sellers, and he is an amazing chef. Um, I find him very inspiring. I find his food very love-filled and it tastes amazing, and it's innovative. That's one of my favorite things about vegan cuisine is innovative vegan cuisine. And, of course, Millennium. Um, I had a really great uh, five-course meal with wine pairings at Green Zebra, actually, which is a vegetarian restaurant, but they were able to veganize my entire meal, and so that was really great. There are, you know, Karen's Cooked in Chicago stands out, Pure Food and Wine in New York. I mean, there, there are places all over that I have eaten, and there are so many wonderful, inspiring meals that I've had. And so I try to at least, if I don't do an actual show there, I at least take photos of everything I eat, put it on my website, which is thetravelingvegetarian.tv, and, uh, uh, you know, just tell people what I'm doing, where I'm traveling, and what I'm eating. Well, let's forget about veganism for a second. What's okay. the greatest city in the world? What's a, what are the best places you've been? Uh, not for vegan stuff, but just what, you know, we all want to see the world, or at least many of us do, I do. Um, what are some of the best places in the world? Uh, San Francisco <laughs> happens to be my home area, but I'm, so I'm a little biased, but I really think that San Francisco is one of the coolest cities in the entire world. Not just for food, obviously, but just for everything. It's got, it's got a little bit of everything. And the Great hills. Oh, well, a, lot of, a lot of hills, yes, but amazing culture. Um, I, I just love San Francisco. I, I will always consider that area my home. So I love that. I just said uh, Asheville, North Carolina, also a great city if you're looking for something a little smaller. Portland, amazing city. Great beer, great food, great outdoorsy attitude. Just, I, I love Portland. Seattle, I mean, you know, we're talking United States. I have also been to Australia, so I loved Sydney. Melbourne was probably my favorite city. I didn't like the weather there so much, sorry. But um, the, the actual city itself was fantastic. Uh, Brisbane was great. I'm pretty happy just going anywhere because I like to experience new things. I like to go to new places and I like to really get involved in the culture and the food of each city that I travel to, which is one cool thing about what I do because I think that tasting food in a city gives you a real flavor, if you will, for where you are. And so it's exciting. Oh, and Hawaii is amazing too. Kona side. <laughs> side of the Big Island, my favorite. Excellent. Well, what, what brings you here? Why are you here? I saw you here last year, maybe even a year before that. Well, or last the, year was my first year. Okay, so the last year was, that's right, because yeah. we, we met like in the, uh, the hotel lobby as people were arriving. We're both sure. friends with Ve Veg News Magazine. Yes. And so we're hanging out with Joe and Aurelia and whoever uh -huh. else was there. Right. So that's where we officially met, although we knew each other from you know, online. Of the course. The wonderful World Wide Web that connects yes. us all like, uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think. I don't no, know. It's amazing. I mean, you know, a web, I guess. Yeah, and speaking of that, I mean, I, I've gone to all these conferences and seen people that I knew online. It's like, oh, hey, you're that guy. And, you know, we know each other from Facebook or we know each other from our own websites or whatever. I'm here to make connections. I'm here to learn more about, uh, uh, learn more about animal rights. I'm here to meet people and really connect with folks. I mean, it's just, it's a great way to get the word out about what I do. And people are excited about what I do when they find out. So I love that. You know, it's like, wow, you do a show about vegan food and travel that's amazing so it, it gets people excited about me and I get excited about them and it's really a win-win and then this year you know a lot of people know who I am but it's so great to reconnect and to feel 
like you're not alone. And you know, after Summerfest this year, um, Vegetarian Summerfest, which is in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, I go to both conferences. Um, you know, a friend of mine wrote on her Facebook, "I miss my tribe after the thing was over," and that's kind of how I felt as well. It's like you have this amazing group of like-minded folks that you get to reconnect with once a year. It's like summer camp, you know, and you get to just hang out. And you know, obviously, you said earlier that I hadn't gotten a lot of sleep. <laughs> that's true. You stay up all night hanging out with friends that you only get to see maybe once or twice a year. So it's a, it's a great opportunity to reconnect, make connections, and learn a ton about your cause. And you were impressed that I was out late last night I because was, I, I come was. to these events and I'm known for hiding in my room and working on projects because, as we say on the Robert Cheek show, I like to hammer it and nail it until I get it. I, I, I pick something that I'm going to do and I just go crazy until I get it done. But last night I came out and uh, saw and you, know you out there and saw too. a few other people out there and uh, it was... It was, it was good to get out. Yeah, I think you have an incredible work ethic and I love what you do, but it's really great too to get out and just hang out and relax once in a while and just let loose and be with your friends. And it turned out to be, I mean, not only was fun and social, but it was a great networking thing. I mean, it, I, I met up with a lot of people who were excited about what I do and I had an opportunity to uh, thank them for their appreciation of that and, and learn more about them and see what they're up to. Oh, so who let the dogs Always out? Always dogs barking. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah. So uh, we've got just a couple minutes left here. Um, is there anything you'd like to say, any final thoughts about what you do, um, the Animal Rights Conference in general, some of the people that you work with, the places that you've been, um, any shout-outs you want to give, any suggestions like what if, you're, what if you're brand new to veganism, brand new to vegetarianism, what, what advice do you have, um, and, uh, and anything else you want to share about that topic? go to my website. <laughs> I might may plug myself again. I've got a great resources page on my site that has um, information and links about activism, about environmentalism, recipes, all those kinds of things, restaurants of course, um, but thing, uh, places where you can buy books, places where you can buy vegan goods, all of that stuff you can find on my website. But really just anybody who's interested in veganism, do some research, talk to some people who are vegan, find out as much as you can. It's not it's not a sacrifice, you know, I've, we've been talking a lot about food over the last few weeks and most of us agree that you actually add more into your diet when you become vegan than lose. Um, most of us, our taste buds change a little bit and we actually start to crave really healthy things, raw vegetables, things like that, all of a sudden become really appealing where they weren't before. So, do your research, talk to people. There's tons of information on the internet. People ask me for recipes all the time, and usually I just point them to other other recipe sites. You know, I'm not I'm not a recipe destination per se, but I do have links to those things on my site if that's your thing. I'm more of a throw stuff in a pot and cook it up kind of girl. But if you're a recipe person, go to fat free but fat fatfreevegan.com. It's one of my favorite sites, um, and and just. Look around, see what sounds good to you, and start making food and get excited about it. Because it is exciting. We are so excited about what we do. And that's another thing that's great about these conferences, so we get to be with other people who are just as, as excited about what they do. And we get to talk and connect and be excited together. So, get involved. Well, getting involved and being excited together is what we're all about. We're running out of time here, so I want to thank Yvonne Smith, TravelVegetarian.tv, TravelVegetarian. Uh, she's going to give you recommendations and tell you uh, about where she's been and what it's like and probably some recommendations there or suggestions, sure, advice, sure. tips and all and that kind of stuff. You can always write me too and watch my video blogs for lots of information. All right. Well, well, thank you so much for being on the Robert Cheek Show. This has been the Robert Cheek Show. I'm your host, Robert Cheek. It's a bonus episode from the Animal Rights Conference 2009. And whatever it is that you care about, whatever you're passionate about, get out there, hammer it, nail it until you get it. Take action, make it happen and get it done. And this is where your personal best happens every day. Have a great day, everyone. See ya. Goodbye. Thanks.